you like, subscribe, comment, share. You did? Yeah! Hey, looking for a T, I got it. What's the name? Just got shot it. They taking chain like Wiley. All these niggas do is gossip. Driving T and MKE. They better treat me like Big Me. Loud pipes like SRTs. They jumping out of here, shoot fees. Camera on you, no duck from it. You gon' get what you wanted from it. Them two hoes was sucking, fuck it. He just fucked off all the money. She did that for a couple hundred. He told Jose to keep him coming. I don't think you can tell him nothing. Drop the T, bitch, tell me something, huh? Like, share, comment, all that good shit you did. This your girl, Miss Dimples, dropping the tea in MKE. Make sure y'all subscribe and hit that notification button. Today's co host is gonna be the one and only Dr. Kool Aid. Dr. Kool Aid, what it do? What's going on, Miss Dimples? Just dropping the tea in MKE. Today, we're gonna be talking about World versus Wade. Roe versus Wade. What you think about Roe versus Wade, Dr. Kool-Aid? Uh, well, well, first of all, Roe versus Wade, you have to go back to 1970 when the lady named Norma McKendry, she uh, wanted an abortion and she had uh, two lawyers put in a class, put in a lawsuit against Texas before because they said they violated her rights as that she wanted to get an abortion. My opinion about it, I think women have a right to do what they want to do with their body. Men have a right to do what they want to do with their body. God created these bodies. No, should nobody else be able to tell you what to do with your body? And for somebody to tell you you can't get an abortion, or you can get an abortion, or you can't, it's not your uh, your choice. Your yeah. choice to tell somebody what they can get and what they can't get. Yeah, it just make you feel like now the United States is trying to be a communist country. They try to tell you what you can and what you cannot do. That's that's being a communist. It's not like it's not the freedom of speech or a freedom of choice no more. Now you just trying to tell me what I need to do. Yeah, cause I know a lot of women and got abortions and some people um, pro choice and some pro life. I think you have a right to be what you want. You can't tell about what they can do and what they can't do. Now y'all want to overturn. It's other things y'all should be working on in the United States besides Roe versus Wade, worrying about somebody's body and what they can do with it and what they can't do with it. Y'all want control over everybody's body, their mind, and everything. You ain't got no say-so about nothing about yourself. No, that's not fair to the people. Yeah, that's just like China, you know what I'm saying? China, in, in there, you go, you're only allowed to have two kids, so they dictate how many kids you have. So, you know, that's what it seems like what path the United States is going into now. They're saying you, uh, that it's illegal to, to have an abortion now, you know what I'm saying? Like you say, women have a choice. It's, it's their body. They can choose to keep the baby or not want the baby. I mean, that's 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 it should be your choice. It should be nothing, nothing else said about that. True, true. Then y'all talking about y'all short on milk. So if you telling people they can't have abortion, where's the milk they gonna produce? What you gonna do, breastfeed? So that's what they gonna have to turn to, breastfeeding the babies because you're short as your milk. Then you telling people they can't get abortions. I know a few women that got abortion and had several abortions by their choice. They might have got pregnant by somebody that couldn't provide for the baby. They might have been raped. You don't know their reason for getting abortions. This is our, our body God created and gave us. I don't think y'all have a right to tell women what they can do with their body and what they can't do. Right. And see, another thing that's going to lead to something, that's going to lead to other things. Now, they they passed, broke this law. So then the next law is going to be like same-sex marriages, you know, uh, gay rights, all that, all of that shit. For, I mean, all little things fall together. Mm -hmm. Even though we talking about now Roe versus Wade, but that falls in the category of what they try to dictate to us now. True. That's so true. And yeah, I don't think that's right for them to tell women what to do with their body. Do what y'all want to do with your body. I bet there's a man right, right behind it. A man, some women too. I ain't going to say just men. Women too. Telling people what they can do with their body and what they can't do with their body. Um, they say you can put it up for adoption if you don't want it. Just have a baby. Some people have risks. They might, you know, it could be anything. You have to look at the whole picture. You just can't uh, say abort a baby. It's medical. It, yeah, medical reasons, anything. Right. Uh, they can be raped by a family member, and then you can't have right. uh, incest. Yeah, incest. You don't know what's the problem. And so I don't think this going to uh, pass because it's too much. It's too much to have to deal with the past. And people going through all kind of stuff. Financial reasons, they can't have a baby. Uh you know, it's all kind of reasons why they right. got baby. Then they might not want a baby in this corrupt world. Right. Then got pregnant. The world is all messed up. Everything going to trying to get on the news. Somebody being shot. Somebody being raped. Uh, brand over. 
Uh, it's all kind of stuff going on in this world. People might not want to have a baby right Kids then and there. Kidnap, you know, yeah, kidnapping people, shot. kids, and y'all can't find out half of the kids ain't been located there on the back of the milk carton. Right. You can't find them. Then, you know, uh, as they say, African Americans have more babies. Um, and y'all, and we got to deal with discrimination. So they, some people don't want to bring no baby in this world because of what they have to deal with. Mm -hmm. It's a lot to deal with in this world to bring a baby into it. Right. So I don't think it's right to tell a woman what she can do with her body and what she can't do with her body. Do they tell men what they can do with their body? No, I don't hear nobody talking to them about what they can do with their body. And another thing, if y'all let these people, <laughs> yeah, true, you let these people have these babies, the men need to stop sticking it in there and the woman need to stop letting them and just don't have no kids. Simple as that. Protection. You're tax, what I'm talking about. Protection. Contraception. You ain't got to worry about it. Then the world will get smaller and smaller because they know kids being produced. Right. You tell people they can't have abortion, so they gonna just what you tell them stop having sex altogether. But you know, God said be fruitful and multiply. Oh yeah. So you know what I mean. So I don't know. Uh, to me, I just I, I I'm I, I'm just like I don't know because I, I I'm, I'm not a woman, so I just can't really you know what I'm saying. Just really just relate to that. But I my opinion, you know what I'm saying, is just that that just that just wrong because of the fact that like you said, y'all gotta. Y'all have a choice. I mean, that's y'all body. I, I can't, you know, I can't tell you what to do with your body. I can't. Sometimes you can't tell a person in their own home what to do. So how are you gonna tell somebody about their body? Now? Yeah. that's really totally different. Yeah, they should have a choice of what they want to do. These people are walking out here protesting, mm -hmm. falling out, fighting the Going police, and you got men and women. Y'all can't even make uh, have an abortion. So why is you out there protesting? Mm -hmm. Pro life. Pro life. Yeah, get rid of some of this racism and all this stuff that's going on in the world. Maybe people have more kids. Maybe they wouldn't get no abortions. There's a lot of reasons why they're getting abortions. Right. You know, I can't judge folks and I can't tell people what to do, not to do. I try not to. Right. Just live your life. But make your own choices. Them what you have to live with. Yeah, that's that's a, that's that's it. At the end of the day, it's your choice. Mm -hmm. Whatever you choose to do, that's it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. We tired of y'all trying to run our life. Y'all been doing it for years, 400 years running our life. We right. tired of it. Yeah. Every time you get on news, there's something. Y'all worry about the wrong things. There's other things y'all could be working on in this world, like incarcerating innocent people, uh, gun violence, right. rising inflations. That's what y'all should be worried about. Y'all worrying about some people having a baby. Right. And then also, look, we we produce the most milk in the world, but why we got to get milk from another country? And, and these companies in here in the United States ain't even trying to put up no milk. Just like they didn't want to put up the gas. Now the gas, the president had to get up there and be on them about making the gas in the United States. That's why the gas is dropping down. But it had to wait to get to that point where it, it, it got to get almost a recession for anything to even start working. That's, you know, you, that's a, our tax dollars. They, they spend it like it's their money, not our money. Oh yeah, it's terrible out here, y'all. It's one thing, it's another. They were going from where trying to get news. There's something else going on, something that's not even got nothing to do with the people that's talking about it. Work on other things. There's more important things than than people having a baby. People have babies every day and get rid of them every day. Some people being killed while they pregnant, murdered while they pregnant. Some people throw their kids in the garbage can. Yeah, throw them in the garbage can. They don't want them. Right. You know. Like I say, they've got adoption if they have a baby. If they want to have a baby, it's all kind of uh, adoption. It's people that can't even have kids. Right, they got it where you, if, they, if you don't want your kid, you can just leave it at the hospital. I believe them the ones doing all this pro-life because pro they can't have none, so they don't want nobody to get rid of none. <laughs> That's what I believe it is. The most people probably pro-life, okay. But you know, they've been fighting that ever since the, the Roe v. versus Wade, 40 years. They've been fighting for the pro-life. Uh, pro you know what I'm saying? Yeah, but they I ain't never seen them. it get this big and out of control. Social media, social media hype everything up now. Mm-hmm. You, know, you see, as soon as something happened, bam, it's right on the news now. Oh, yeah. You know, but they need to fix up, fix other stuff or they go to something else. Right. Y'all going from story to story to story and ain't doing nothing about the other stories that need to be taken well, care of. Right, they need to fix the economy most yeah. definitely, man. Everything going up, man. That's, you know, it's, it's bad. Yeah. Thank y'all for tuning in. You got anything else to say, Dr. Kool-Aid? No, nah, but just, you know, hey, I'm with you ladies. All right, I'm with y'all ladies too. Y'all got choices. If y'all want what y'all want to do with y'all body, and don't let everybody tell y'all different. I will be out there protesting too for pro-life, pro-life. You know, if they want to get rid of their baby, but that's their choice. Know, I, nothing, but I do see 
the other side too because there's a lot of people saying that's murder you mm -hmm. know what i'm saying you're killing a baby and not even letting that baby get a chance to even live mm -hmm. uh, i mean i it, it, it's a, it's a two-handed situation because you know like you say you don't even know what situation that lady has been through mm -hmm. to get that baby in. and then you know and then it's and that's a, that's got to be a hell of a choice to, to make them want to kill your baby i mean you know what i'm saying you got to have some type of remorse for that that in itself that should hurt your feelings you know what I mean? yeah you wonder what the sex would have been how the baby would have looked right, and right. you know it's just sad that we had to go to this where you have to you know pro-choice pro-life Right. Yeah, the and, babies, and, and then everything. that's where that mental that mental health come in at right there. Because now you know what I'm saying you stressing out, you know you don't got depressed because you know what I'm saying you know you know you kiss your little baby. You know what I'm saying that's yeah. that's gotta be a hell of a thing. And then the men's not there for the woman when they get pregnant. He run off. I ain't want no kids. You got pregnant, and I ain't put on some condoms. Right. right. If you didn't want no baby, right. now, I'm that, leaving, girl. You got pregnant. Way. <laughs> yeah, she need to, but the man, he the one putting it in there, so he better put a, Yeah, both of them need to use protection, right, right, don't get me right, wrong. Right. But they, I'm saying, if they run out, I don't want no kids. The mama carrying the child, so she's right. stuck with the child. A real mother going to be there for their child. Right. And a father. And, oh, yeah, a real father, too, but if you yeah. talking about, I'm saying, if he's talking about running off, oh, and you had, they ain't been there for your child. Random cats. Just there for the goodies, and that's it. I don't care what they say about men and women. I think it's more women there for their kids than men when y'all get through. Because I oh, see man. single, more single parents than I, uh, mothers there. Hey, you know, you got some... Yeah, that's what I'm saying. You got more mothers out here raising right, these kids. Right. They not just abandon their kids. They raising these kids as single right. parents. Right. Y'all like my... Somebody told me on... Put a status up saying the men should go be in jail for stay with that woman and raise that child. That's the law y'all need to put in place. When right. he stay there, marry that woman and raise that child should be the law. Right. Y'all worry about somebody getting abortion. That should be a law should have been put in place. Maybe the world would be so destroyed. Right. Thank y'all for tuning in. We love y'all. Peace, love, and happiness. Make sure y'all share. Uh, subscribe and hit that notification button. Peace, Peace. love, and happiness. We love y'all. We out. We go. Yo. They like, subscribe, comment, share. You did. Yo. Hey, yo, Keon. Hey, looking for T, I got it. What's the name? Just got shot it. They taking chain like wallet. All these niggas do is gossip. Driving T and MKE. They better treat me like big meat. Loud bites on SRTs. They jumping out of here, shoot fees. Camera on you, ain't no duck from it. You gon' get what you want from it. Them two hoes was sucking fucking. He just fucked off all the money. She did that for a couple hundred. He told Jose to keep him coming. I don't think you can tell him nothing. Drop the T, bitch, tell me something, huh? Hey, yo, subscribe, like, share, comment, all that good shit he did. <laughs>